Yeah, hello, 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 hello. Good morning, good morning once again, good morning once again. Uh, today we are here once again to give you information. You know, say nothing but information. Every time we used to drop the information for you. Uh, our own is to bring the information. Your own is to work up with as a history. Say it uh, every time. Uh, I greet everybody who is watching me. Peter Good, everybody. Greetings to you. This is Europe Family TV and Blacks in Europe uh, TV. Uh, we are here once again to give you uh, the accurate information. We know we have already talked about many issues here and today we are here to talk about Italy, the new document they are planning to share for immigrants in Italy. The name of the document is Permesso di Soggiorno per Calamita Naturale. That's the name of the document. We will talk about the document, the reason why they want to share the document. And that document, has, at the same time, is Matteo Savini who made that the, uh, the uh, decree of this document, uh, uh, which is called Permesso di Soggiorno per Calamita Naturale. We will talk about, about uh, that issue. And Savini uh, talking about the money is also paying and car insurance issues and also about Boris Johnson, uh, the uh, uh, prime minister of uh, this thing, uh, UK, uh, his issues. You know, we, we told you the last time that he was in critical condition. So today we will still bring update about that issue and also about the poster money they want to share you understand you can also go to the poster and request for that money our own is to bring information your own is to work up puts about the information where we can't drop for you you understand because we cannot bring the information and the same time we will go ahead and do research and go and find how you go about or how to apply it or whatever we will just bring the information your own is to go to the office that will show you that okay this is what is happening there we have heard of this thing how we go about it you understand that's the only help me i can help if you are watching you can drop your comments here and you can hit the liking button and share the video to all your friends uh, for us, uh, for the platform to become bigger, the more we get new people subscribing and following the platform, the more we will get answers to your questions. So let's move on to the issues. You know, uh, in Italy here or in Europe, most of the European countries, they have these similar laws. Uh, there is a law that if you buy a car or a motor, a motor, even normal motor that we use, mobs, all those motors, uh, if you buy it, you have to put an insurance on that machine. The reason why you have to put the insurance is in case maybe if you commit an accident or something happen on your road when uh, wherever you are going with this uh, car insurance they can help you to at least maybe the things that you damage or maybe even your car was spoiled or destroyed through all this uh, uh, through uh, the problem or the accident so the insurance company will assist you the insurance is there to support you in case of accident and it depends the amount of money that will determine how much you will pay for the insurance maybe if you buy a car like 2000 uh, euro your insurance will be less let's say maybe 400 and 300 and in italy here you know italy they are a country that there is a law which made by the government and it's for all the countries but sometimes if you go to some regions their insurance is different from others for example if you are in milano or napoli napoli's insurance is higher than torino that's how it is and alessandra is le lesser than inside torino so it depends the city that you are maybe in your city if they used to commit many accidents, your car insurance used to high. Next time I will do a video probably about uh, the insurance issue. But today is uh, what we want to talk about. It. The government, according to Cura Italia, the decree they released yesterday, they said they have suspended all, pe all the people who want to apply for or who want to register their motor, the car insurance, the sicurezza. They want to uh, suspend it. Till on the 31st of uh, July. So after they put this law that till on the 31st of July, and they said they they said it in the um, Cura Italia that, mind you, maybe you think okay they have suspended. So now I have buy my car and I cannot register for the insurance or I cannot go for the insurance because the insurance companies are not working. So I have the right to use the car till on the. Uh, 31st of uh, uh, July. No, they say it's not like that. You keep the car till the time they will resume work. So that's what we can talk about the car insurance issue. So uh, notice that you can't use the car if you know you don't have an insurance 
for your car please notice that don't try it because you know italian police now they are in danger zone they are in war so anybody that they will catch you misbehaving or not obeying the laws you know what they will do to you recently you remember one of our africa um, uh, pakistan immigrants they give him muta of five thousand euros why because he didn't respect the law made by the government in italy that everybody should stay at home he went outside around 10 30 midnight to go and buy cigarettes and through that he have a 5000 euro motor and this guy i'm talking about he's not working he's still in camp ask me how will he pay but the on the, the same time you will still ask who up sent him to outside because of cigarettes you can't stay at home just a measures they put to protect you yourself and you don't want to obey the measure which will protect you meaning you want to turn to a set of animal and we are human beings we have to uh, be different from uh, animals you understand and many people who are sometimes commenting on this platform i use this opportunity to tell you guys something you know now there is a, a coronavirus and they say we have to clean our hands wash our hands and use hand sanitizer so that we cannot contact this coronavirus please the more you are washing your hands you will still also wash your brain those people who used to comment rubbish on the platform the more you are washing hands still wash your brain because sometimes some of the comments and some of the people some of them who used to comment you see that they have already washed your hand but in their brain there is a lot of dirty inside and they have not washed it so try to wash your hand and also wash your brain well before watching me because all my viewers are people who are matured all my viewers are responsible people they respect themselves they don't insult on platform let's move on to boris johnson boris johnson is a man he's an, a prime minister former journalist before he became an, a, a prime minister recently reported that this man was not feeling fine he was in danger because of this COVID-19 but now we have get a news yesterday that he's now a uh, uh, better things are going better for him because uh, the doctors it seems they have worked on him and, uh, and now we are receiving a good result it's not in critical condition as we said it before so now we, I think my viewers uh, the prayers we prayed for the man God have really accepted or started uh, responding our prayer so let's continue praying for the man and pray for Italian nation so that God will continue rescue them from this calamities because you know now it's 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 uh, I'm even scared because in Italy, almost uh, I think 18,000 people dying. You understand? It's it's something you you can't just look at and just ignore. You understand? So we have to plan together and pray for them because Italy is really doing a lot uh, since this issue came. Anytime they will go to their parliament uh, or planning about their citizens, normally they don't used to forget we the immigrants and the refugees. Meanwhile, they love us because there are a lot of countries they are now ignoring the immigrants. They don't even care about immigrants or refugees. But still, Italy is still planning to support we the immigrant Matteo Savini was angry yesterday why because uh, what he wants the government to do for him he thinks the government is not doing things better but we for me I think the government uh, the prime minister the interior minister the foreign minister um, Luigi Di Mao the prime minister Luciana Lermogese they are trying their best possible best and they are doing what they can as human beings but still Ma Ma Matteo Savini is insisting he says these people are not doing anything to support the country why is he saying that he said because the bonuses they said they want to pay every day they will postpone the date every day they will postpone the date especially for the 600 euro for people who have patita eva patita the eva people who are doing their own autonomous business the government promised them that at least by the ending of this month before the uh this the booster paga will come their pay slip will come they will pay all those money into the account uh, automatically but some of the Italians are still complaining that no, we went to our account, we couldn't find any money. Why the government is lying for us? So Savini is telling the Prime Minister that please, before you come out, don't use our mind. Don't play with our mind. Don't play games with our mind because we are matured enough for you to deceive us. Some of the citizens are even older than you. So don't try to joke with them. That's what Mat Matteo Savini is saying. And the, uh, there is something the opposition party, which is Sa Savini and his people did yesterday, and the Italians were surprised right they were uh, trying to uh, uh, bring a, de a decree of cura italia but there are many measures in that decree of cura italia you know that so this decree of cura italia is um, a, a system or a measures that since uh, since when this covid 19 started they plan to make all their rules and everything in this cura italia so now yesterday they were planning to vote about a laws they want to uh, approve you understand so they want to am amend new law but in italia they have to 
to vote on it to see that the parliamentarians or the lawmakers they have approved or they have accepted it or many people voted yes and you know as they used to vote on uh, in parliament they normally don't do it as uh, we, we used to vote outside for president or for forever no it's not like that in Italy what they used to do in parliament is even in Africa in Ghana our parliament that's how they used to do it's yes or no whether you uh, you go pick yes or you pick no you understand so men, the minority uh, the majority always say no to the laws they want to approve that yesterday uh, but uh, with God grace uh, many people voted yes so they, I think they got uh, 120 yes and 99 no so with that meaning the yes were many so they have approved the law uh, yesterday so we are still following them because of work and because of time we haven't read all the laws they approved yesterday but we still go going on maybe by Saturday Sunday we will try to bring many many things about this Cura uh, Italia hey you too you can also go there on your Google by searching Cura Italia you see all the decrees uh, I'm talking about there now let's go to the uh, to the final one. The final one is the paper called Permesso di Sojourno per Calamita Naturale. This is a paper that uh, it was there in even 2010, 2012 by um, this man. Oh, Balisconi, you understand? But in two, uh, uh, 2018, when Savini came, Savini tried to amend this law where he positioned the, the law where uh, the, the, uh, this paper called Permesso di Sojourno per Calamita Naturale. It's a paper that, or uh, it's a decree that Savini made that, okay, for example, maybe in our country there is a law or some issues like this COVID-19 that is happening in Italy right now. It's even bigger than a war because more than uh, 18 thousand people dying in the country you have to know that they are on war because even though they are not using gun and bomb and whatever to fight this thing this one is also a war it's a calamity which is happening in this country for example the time um uh, that's almenia you know earthquake was there they were uh, something like this the country can assist you by giving you this type of document so now the lawyers association of italy they have planned and they have message a uh, questura of italy all the questurers that they should sit down and plan and look into this law Savini brought that uh, any uh, time there is a calamity they have to give paper to immigrants. What's the reason why they, they think they have to give paper to immigrants who don't have paper and they are roaming on the street without doing anything? Because now in Italy, if you don't have a document you cannot even buy medicine in a drugstore. I know someone would doubt he say, okay, I used to buy, yeah. But in their law, the law says if you don't have a paper which your doctor wrote to you that you have to drink this medicine or you have to take this drug you can't buy it but there are some area you know everywhere corruption is there some area they can sell it to you but it, in the law the 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 doctors or the 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 people who are selling the drugs are not allowed to sell for anybody who doctor have not prescribed that medicine for so according to them if you don't have a paper you can't buy a medicine and you cannot even meet a doctor and you cannot even work because without a sojourner without all the uh, the rare document they need you cannot do anything in Italy. So he said now many people are even scared and planning to return back home because of this calamity or to even travel outside Italy because of this calamity. But the person don't have a document. How would the person do about? And maybe we don't know the time this coronavirus will start. Maybe it will continue. It will continue. People will start dying. Maybe they will prove a law that everybody should go uh, his or his own country. How will those people without uh, a paper go? So the, uh, the, the lawyers and the judges association, they have planned and they have message questura and now questura is doing review into it to know the measures how they will do how to do and give the paper uh, to the immigrants in the country without any document so now the good news is let's pray let's see whether the questura will accept better i know for sure questura will accept because anything in their um in their quest, uh, constitution and as a lawyers association who is planning talking to the questura to do it you know it's for sure that uh, questura will surely do it but the question is now people are asking will they give the paper to people who have already committed crime in this country that question even me i've messaged them as i said it yesterday but we haven't get any response on that question because on their website you have if you have a question you fill your name your email address everything and you message them maybe they will reply you later but i don't know when they will reply me about that but this paper uh, they said 
in their law, it's six months paper. And with that six months paper, you cannot convert the paper to any type of paper, like uh, com uh, uh, converting it to uh, maybe Kata Sojourno, or converting it to uh, uh, Lavoro, or converting it to Chitadino, all those type of paper. You can't do this paper to... Uh, you can't convert this paper. So let's pray that the important is, even though we can't convert it, so far as we can use it to work, so far as we can use it to travel, that's the best thing we need. Even though it's six months paper, we doesn't care. What we need is, they will approve the law, the Questura will do review, and Questura will start, uh, start sharing this document. So the happiest thing is, they want to share. So let's wait uh, from tomorrow going and see whether by Monday, because tomorrow is holiday, even Monday is holiday. So let's enter next week and we will try to bring you the update try to subscribe to this channel here we are here to give you the good information your own is to work up with the post money where they want share this place let me speak it in pg because i know our people they like the money so we will go it this way the money post and i want share sometimes they will give you a voucher sometimes they will support you with a discount where if you buy something on net they will reduce the price of the thing because maybe the thing where you go use your poster account say by now they talk Globe say you get in Tessa San Paulo, you not join now only poster. So if you want to know about them, you will go uh, poster office, you will ask them. Say you don't hear say you get one money where they say they won't come they give us or discount. You won't register. If you go there, they will put you through, they will put you into the process. How you will do where you will take applier. Please, if you have not subscribed, subscribe, share this video to all your friends. Till next time, adios.